The scarf you're about to see uses two special trims. This movie is on worm trim with automatic piping. The scalloping decrease is presented in a separate video. You are looking at a thread lace scarf. It's going to get a hefty steaming, but one side of the scarf had decreases all along it to make the triangle shape. This is what I'm calling the scalloping decrease, and it is the subject of another video. This side, because the very edge is thread lace and it was purposely knitted loosely, needs a different kind of treatment in order to look neat. So what I'm using is a variant of worm trim that has its own piping knitted right on. What I want the piping to do is roll over the edge of the join, hiding it so that it will look nice and tidy. When you add the piping feature, the twistiness of worm trim becomes less so. Now so here's how you do it. As normal, we're going to hang three stitches and knit six rows. When I hang, I'm going to be careful to push them behind an edge column of stitches, and it will include stitches that were the thread and stitches were the, were the main yarn. And because it is a little loose, I'm purposely easing in a little bit. I want my edge to slightly pull in from where it was so it doesn't seem sloppy. Now I'm hanging what I picked up on the three stitches on the left edge. That leaves two on the right that never get anything hung on them. They just knit. One, two, three, four, five, six. And repeat. To start this process, you simply cast on five stitches. Knit a couple rows if you feel you need to to get started. And then hang the first piece of edge on the leftmost three. Make sure for this technique, knit side is showing, facing you. That way, the piping, which is these two stitches, ends up where we want it. Uh, light has fallen on that badly. Let's see. There you go. Now you may have noticed my last time trying to knit across them was a little stiff. If you're worried that it's too stiff and might break stitches, let it knit back from hold. I'm not putting claw weights on this. I'm adding just a tiny bit of tension with my left hand and knitting with my right as I feel the need. You can weight it. Another thing I've done here is this is Tam BB yarn, for your information. A yarn that for a sweater or a child's garment I would normally knit at stitch size 8 or 9, depending on the exact machine. In fact, for the thread lace, I went up to stitch size 10 to get the effect I wanted. But for this trim, I am firming it up by using stitch size 7. The exact numbers, of course, will be unique to your machine, but I'm giving you a way to get a feel for it. If a good stockinette fabric is produced at one number, you tend to go up one number for the thread lace and down one number for the trim that I'm working. And you can see what a nice edge this is going to make. This will be the part of the scarf that goes around the person's neck and ties in front, whereas the triangular point that's on the other edge will edge will go down the center of the back. So here it is, worm trim with automatic piping. You may wonder about the difference between thread lace and fair isle, and they are closely related. This first photo is thread lace. This one is true fair isle. You can see that in the lace, the skinny yarn comes to the fore 
more than in this one. Both produce airy fabrics and I usually decide based on which one works better with the yarns that I want to use.